Hello and Tashi Dalek to all of uh, my dear learners. Today we will be looking at okay, what an article is in English uh, language and although there are like different meanings of article we are looking at the grammatical aspect of article. So before we jump on to the definition let us look at these sentence, short sentences. A long time ago there was a lion. So it was a time back earlier in the past when there was a lion. So there was one lion there. The lion was strangely fond of an apple. So which lion? The lion which was there a long time ago was strangely fond of. Fond of means when you are in love with someone. I am fond of reading books. He is fond of um, getting uh, sick, right? Likewise, an apple. So there was an apple, a strange apple, and the lion was in love with that apple. So you see that even in these short sentences, we have used article four times, and this simply shows how useful articles are and how often uh, it appears in our day to day writing or day to day speaking. Okay, so especially in writing, it is quite important. Now, what, uh, there are like three articles in English language and all three are singular articles, a and the. And singular here means we can use it before singular noun like a boy, a child, an ostrich, a tailor. Singular means one. So if a noun means one like boy, a boy means one boy there. Okay, all different nouns can... Uh, the, all the countable nouns can either be singular or plural. If that is singular, you must add A or N before it normally. So a boy, like an ostrich, the tailor, right? And then the can be used with plural nouns, but then A and N cannot be used before it. So we don't use A and N here. You can use the boys, the children, the ostriches. It's up to you, right? And we'll and I'll tell you where to use a and the. So in simple words, a n only means one, and it can only be used with singular noun. A and n means the same thing. Uh, it is used in a different way depending on the sound of the word, uh, noun which comes after it. And the on the other hand can be used with singular and plural noun both. So an article is something that determines or specifies which noun the speaker is talking of. So when you are saying something, right, normally when we utter words from our mouth, there will be a noun in the sentence. And before noun, we normally use articles there to determine, to make sure which noun we are talking about. Okay, for example, I saw the man who was famous all over the news. So which man did I see? I saw the man who was famous all over the news. Not just any man, the, the man who was famous all over the news that time. Okay, therefore I use the because we know which man we are talking about. Second one is there was an honest man. So there was an honest man. So do, you, do we know which honest man? No, we don't know, right? We, can, we are we're not... Uh, we don't know him and therefore we use and before it. A and N, these are used when we introduce an object or a noun for the first time. Now the second time when it is introduced, like the honest man, like the honest man used to live in a distant village. So now we know this honest man and therefore we use article the before it. Okay, so... These are just some simple examples to clarify your understanding and doubt. Let us read this one. So this is uh, indefinite articles. Indefinite means unsure articles. When you are talking about general noun, you can use A or N before it. Now, as I already said, A and N means the same thing. So don't get confused here. A dog is a good pet. An octopus has two hearts and eight legs. So here, a dog, I'm talking about any kind of dog, okay? I'm not just referring to a specific definite dog. It can be any dog. I'm talking generally here. And we use an when there is a vowel sound. Octopus, oh, is a vowel sound. Therefore, we use an. Otherwise, an octopus and a dog means the same thing. A dog means one dog, any dog. An octopus means one octopus, any octopus. 
okay so in and is used for general meaning and then the or the is used for a specific noun before specific noun when you are uh, definite about the noun so we study at the best school of some border department school society so the best will always be there because best is superlative and before superlative we use the as it is definite there we know best can only be one or like a group class in total secondly the dog is barking too loudly so suppose there are a few dogs out side the school compound and then one of them is barking loudly so you can say the dog is barking loudly and we know which dog you're talking about the one who is barking loudly right from which pole now this question is incorrect therefore i'll erase it now the is used before specific noun for example if i say that in my uh, class there is only one door so what will i say i'll say close the door because there's only one door and you know which door i'm talking about i'm being specific here right but if there are like many windows in my class then how do i say it i have to give a specific relation to it like could you please open the very first window okay or i can say like opened a window and then you can open any kind of window that you like so in short a and n means general and it means one all the time and the is used with specific and it can mean more than one okay the is quite flexible you can use it before anything but then the means the reader and the listener know which noun you are referring to okay and and does not mean we know about it it simply means that you're talking about a noun generally so here is a table here it says indefinite indefinite article so the and an as i told you an means the same thing so an is used with singular countable nouns only so singular noun only and that also countable nouns there are like many un uncountable nouns in english like hair uh, information water you don't use uh, these articles before them you cannot say an information there okay not a news normally then the as i said is flexible you can use this before every noun now the second thing is we don't use a and n before specific we use it before non-specific okay when we are talking about generally and the is used before specific people or thing for example how many sun are sun are there suns are there in uh, this uh, solar system there is only one so what do we call it because it is specific there's only one sun we say the sun but how about stars so we have plenty right plethora of stars over there in the sky so you can say a star if you're talking about star in general okay so these are some of the exercise that comes there and let us just stay here today i hope you all have learned something new in case you have any question or doubt feel free to ask and in the next uh, lesson related to uh, article we'll try to cover the uh, sound of the and d and at the same time we have when to say a and when to say n okay Thank you all.